Ohio is the first state to allow some people with disabilities to save money without, in most cases, losing benefits like Medicaid and Social Security. That just happened yesterday. Today, First News anchor Stan Boney talked with two people who work with the disabled. Stan joins us live in the studio with what he found out. Ohio's program is called STABLE, which stands for Savings and Investment Solutions for People with Disabilities. STABLE was made possible by the Achieving a Better Life Experience Act, which the U.S. Congress passed in 2014. Now, this afternoon, I talked with Lindsay Morris of the Down Syndrome Association of the Valley. It was the National Down Syndrome Society that pushed for the law. STABLE will allow people with disabilities to invest tax-free in things like mutual funds and then use the money to pay for qualified disability expenses. Prior to this point, without the um, STABLE accounts, there wasn't an option that would allow individuals with disabilities to save without putting at risk losing their benefits such as Medicaid, SSI, or others, and this really gives them that opportunity to save, invest, and just reach their full potential. I also, I also talked with Jason Lindsay of Western Reserve Orthotics and Prosthetics in Austintown, who said he likes the stable program, but he has two issues. First, once the fund reaches $100,000, there could be a decrease in Social Security income, and two, a person must have developed their disability before age 26. Now, both Lindsay Morris and Jason Lindsay say the website to apply for a stable account is very user-friendly. All your questions can be answered there. Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.